that climate change is driving innovators and scientists across the world to find cleaner alternative sources of energy to fossil fuel. This global challenge is beginning to impact all industries, including automobile and others. In Nigeria, an innovator has keyed into this by producing an electric tricycle fitted with a refrigerating facility. His work would serve individuals needing to transport perishable foods and other items with zero poisonous gas emission. At the end of the day, it will all come down to clean energy, healthy living and environmental sustainability. And these are what electric mobility can offer us. Year 2012, I was going to go out and uh, there was this uh, protest uh, occupying Nigeria. And as I then, I was running an ICT firm where I made softwares for people and all. But then uh, there was no foil. I mean, there was no movement majorly. So I needed to know how to go out again, uh, what other source of you know, power could I get for my vehicle than I stumbled on electric vehicle. The technology exists, but it's not meant for Nigeria. And uh, for obvious reasons, no infrastructure to back it up, and obviously no technicians. I was just like, oh, maybe I should just research and make my own electric vehicle. We also felt like, oh, we should use this technology to help small businesses. And that was what got us into um, electric cargo bikes. And that would take another 18 months of product development, research and development as well. Mobility generally is a driver of economy, but for small businesses, the current solutions are too expensive for them. And this is what necessitated our own solution. This will give them, you know, a lot of profit going forward because they don't have to spend too much. Imagine a small older farmer that is fetching vegetables. Uh, in my experience, they all wait for each other so that they can all fill up one car. And that car is remotely packed. They have to track that distance to, you know, get there and move their vegetables to the market. With our product, they don't need to wait. This has a capacity of uh, 300 kg, the load capacity, as well as a range of 50 km. I mean, it's, we believe it's uh, enough for small businesses. Uh, we've had a lot of feedback from people that are using it, which are positive, and we are, um, you know, also upgrading uh, going forward. My greatest goal as well is to make sure Africa has this skill because many people think we cannot do these things. So I'm a testimony that it can be done and we are doing it. <laughs>